Welcome back. In the previous class, we have seen the relationship between language and game. Why language game is called a game or the use of language is called a game. We have seen the similarities as rule following activities that between language and game. In today's class, we will be looking into the relationship between word and meaning, words and meaning, how words derive their meaning in a language game. So words have no intrinsic meaning. Their meaning is their use in specific language game. As far as the early philosophy of Wittgenstein is concerned, the words refers to the objects in the world. There is a one-to-one -one correspondence between the word in language and the object in world. Such a rigid or intrinsic meaning. The word itself has got a meaning in the early philosophy. There is an intrinsic meaning. There was an intrinsic meaning for each and every word in early philosophy of Wittgenstein. Now here, there is no such intrinsic meaning. But a specific use in context gives meaning for a word. And to go outside language game is to go outside meaning. If you take the word out of its context, to take the word out of its use in a context, in a specific language game, amounts to, and asking its meaning, amounts to go outside meaning and asking its meaning. No word can have a meaning outside of its use. And you cannot independently, and that's what has been done by philosophers since Socrates. What does virtue mean? What does goodness mean? What does beauty mean? What is justice? Like that. So, such words, or for that sake, any word can have their specific meaning only in specific use, context, contextual use of the word. So, to go outside of such language game is to go outside of meaning. And Wittgenstein speaks about the meaning attained through ostensive definition and ostensive definition is pointing out to point out that this is a cell this is a battery and this is the most definite way in which you can define something to point out and say this is that thing now is that ascribing of meaning is that ascribing of meaning independent of that context we may feel that there is no context required there is no previous knowledge required in order to say that this is a cell so you can understand that by pointing towards that by pointing and telling that this is a cell you can understand that there is no previous knowledge required that's what we think normally but let me ask you what do you understand by saying this is a cell. If you do not have any previous understanding, you may think that what cell mean, the word cell, C-E-L-L mean, is the cylindrical shape. It can be the cylindrical shape. Or it can be the fact that it's on my hand. Why I call it cell. Or it may be the fact that the color of the thing. Or it may be the fact that this, there are strips which is called cell. Or it may be the fact that it's in this way or this way. So there, are, there were so many possibilities for interpreting the word cell when I said this is cell. So the way you understand that this is cell, when I say pointing towards an object and telling that this is a cell, you rightly understand this is cell because there is a context, there is a pre-given context. Otherwise, you would have misunderstood it for its color, shape, or its position, or the fact that it's on my hand, or the fact that it's having strips, or the fact what is it, what's written here. You can have a misunderstanding of all these things for the word cell. You rightly understood it only because there was a previous state setting that took place between us through our living in the world. And that's all. It's only in that state setting can even ostension can work. And that's what Wittgenstein says. And accordingly, there must be a state setting for ostension to work. This state setting is language game. It's only in a language game that 
even ostension can the most definite way of giving meaning can work it also requires a state setting to explain a meaning is to translate into a different language game if you are explaining something if i say something that water boils at, uh, water boils at 100 degrees centigrade if i say something like if i state that you may understand that if you are not understanding if i am explaining that if you heat up water and it evaporates into vapor at the temperature of 100 degrees centigrade if i explain that explain in a different way that amounts to a, another language key because the context the words everything used is different and there is a different context in which the explained thing is understood since the context changes and changing the language game if you are not able to understand in one specific language game then i explain it further in some other language game so each and every explanation is a translation into different language games that's what wittgenstein says and language is a collection of language games interlinked what we call language was the collection of all possible proposition in practice but here language is a collection of language games interlinked all language games interlinked and it gives you uses another notion called forms of life in his later philosophy a collection of language game that is specific to a culture you can call that a form of life it's a collection of language game that is called a form of life and only in a form of life that a specific language game derives its meaning or only from within a form of life that a word or sentence derives its meaning in a language game so he says somewhere in investigation if a lion could speak i will not be able to understand him because he has got a different form of life the way the lion lives the way the lion perceives the world is different from the human perception of the world that's a larger the language game game in a larger context is form of life and in it's within that form of life that language game takes place and it's within that language game that words and sentences derive their meaning and all this what we call language is a collection of language games then they are interconnected and language games are specific ways of looking into language not the only way you can look into language in many ways and language game is one way of looking into language and they with this next plans are absolute starting points and hence cannot be explained or justified you are seen in the case of objects the notion of object in early wittgenstein that they cannot be defined they cannot be described because they are fundamental in the same way language games are fundamental and they are absolute starting points in deriving meaning of a word or sentence or in explaining the meaning of a sentence so they cannot be justified or they cannot be explained further because they are so basic as far as the later philosophy of wittgenstein is concerned and language games are many and none can be given a privileged status you cannot say that this language game is correct or this language game is correct now when wittgenstein uses the notion of language game in order to explain the meaning of a word or sentence as well as he uses the notion of forms of life the meaning is determined from as i told earlier from syntax to pragmatic there is a pragmatic origin of word meaning or the use and context plays a role in determining meaning as well as the socio cultural environment plays a meaning so we cannot say that one language game or one specific use of language is better or privileged than another specific use of language they all have equal status and as game can be played correctly or incorrectly language can be used correctly or incorrectly this uh, factor i explained earlier the game which you play can be played 
by ruling uh, by following the rules exactly or you can incorrectly follow the rule and play the game and in the same way language can also be used or like language game can also be played either correctly or incorrectly as in the case of game even though correctly played it need not be successful language even though there's a spelling error even though correctly used may not serve the purpose so the communication does not always depends on the correct use of language game you may use the language game correctly still there can be an error in communication and it is never classified language games this is because the diversity and criss crosses an extraordinary number of language games he never attempted to classify them because of the quantity in large there are so many numbers of language game and there are diversity among language game and there are criss crossing you cannot uh, classify you cannot may, means put them in rigid boundaries so he never attempted to classify language game and this is the ways in which the word or sentence derives their meaning in language game and now to conclude the language game we can say that language games determine the specific meanings of words and sentences that you mean specific meanings or what sentences from the context the context is known as the language game and the problem of meaning occurs when word or sentences used in one language game is interpreted in another language game this is the cause of philosophical problems as far as wittgenstein is concerned as far as the letter wittgenstein is concerned the word or sentence used in one specific language game if you attempt to interpret in another language game then there is a distortion of meaning then the problem arises it's be and so the solution to the problems as far as the letter philosophy is concerned is to place the word or sentence in the original or the intended language game if you place it back into the intended language game then there can be no ambiguity or no the no problem as far as the use of language is concerned and the diversity in the use of words and language arises the possibility of language games arises out of the possibility of language games since there are multiple language games possible there are multiple use of language also there are diversity of meanings also possible for one and the same word or sentence and hence in order to avoid problems in the use of language it's necessary to interpret words or sentences in their proper language games so to find out the solution to the problem in the use of language is to interpret the words or sentences in the correct language game so there is no single language game or the, there is no single logic as in the case of tactics there are many logic and among that you should not misunderstand between different logics different lang language games have different logic so the problem can be solved by correctly interpreting the word or sentences in the specific language game that's all about language game we'll take some other topic in the next class till then bye thank you